This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So normally there's like a little delay with our instant deck decks where we're playing a deck from the week before, but Guilds of Ravnica is officially out, and I just couldn't wait. So we are actually playing one of this week's instant deck deck decks, one that I'm really excited for because making tokens is sweet, and March of the Multitudes is a card that I'm really Really excited to test out Venerated Loxodon, one of my sleepers from the set. So we are playing Selesnia Tokens. You probably remember this one from an instant deck deck just a couple days ago during Guilds Week. So we're going to give it a shot, run it through a league, see how it actually works like usual. Going to do a super quick two minute deck deck just to refresh your mind on how the deck works. Probably don't need much of a refresher because the deck deck was only a couple days ago. But if you want to see a fuller breakdown, make sure to check out the instant deck deck. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Selesnia tokens for Guilds of Ravnica Standard. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Selesnia tokens, and this deck, it's kind of in three parts. Token makers, token payoffs that are also token makers, kind of like the hybrid, and then token payoffs. So we start off with Legion's Landing, Sapperling Migration, getting tokens on the battlefield on turn one, on turn two. Legion's Landing can also flip and give us more tokens in land form in the late game. Then we have the ability to make even more tokens with Amara Soul of Accord and History of Benalia. So Amara uh, is mostly in the deck because sometimes we can attack with it and make tokens, but mostly we have a lot of Convoke. So when we Convoke it, we get an extra token. Kind of a nice payoff. History of Benalia, really powerful, making two two twos over the course of two turns and then pumping them an army in a can all by itself. As far as our token payoffs, these are our hybrid cards that are token makers and token payoffs. March of the Multitudes is a huge token producer. We just spend all our money, make a bunch of token... We just spend all of our mana, not money, make a bunch of tokens, and then we can also kind of double the tokens we have on the battlefield because we can tap all them for Convoke to make even more tokens. Tristani makes a couple tokens, also pumps our tokens out of Chain Whirler range, allows us to push through more damage. As far as payoffs, Venerated Loxodon convokes out and pumps the creatures that convoked it. As early as turn three, we can have a 4-4 and some really big 2-2 tokens. Pride of Conquerors, really scary because we hit City's Blessing really fast. The double pump of plus two, plus two ends a lot of games, especially when we go end of turn March of Multitudes, untap Pride of Conquerors. Flower Flourish is kind of a token payoff that also counts as a land, essentially, since a lot of times we just pay it for one mana, tutor out a land, lets us trim back on our real lands, but can also pump our tokens. District Guide gives us just a way to kind of get to our five mana plays, adds double mana for March of Multitudes, because we can tap it for Convoke and get a land out of it. Conclave Tribunal gives us a bit of removal. Mana base pretty simple, some dual lands, some basic lands. Sideboard, we have a bunch of stuff to grind through controlling matchups. Vivian Reed for card advantage. Dawn Hope, same deal. Shalai to protect from removal, also pump our tokens. Knight of Autumn is kind of a catch-all creature in the three-drop slot. A bunch of removal for aggro, baffling end, a couple of sweepers with citywide bless, and settle the wreckage. And that is Selesnia Tokens for Guilds of Ravnica standard. And that's our Much of Brew deck for this week. So let's get to the gameplay, see how this super sweet token deck works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. All right, Much of Brew about nothing time. We are playing some Selesnia tokens and standard and uh, sounds fine, I guess. Amara, History of Benalia, March of the Multitudes. Could work. Opponents going to six. And. All right. Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. See what our opponent's up to over there. Opponent. Swamp. And Stitcher Supplier. All right. Opponent's playing some Golgari action. Well, play Sun Petal Grove. Play Amara. Pass the turn. Island. Ooh. Salt IA. Seeker Squire for our opponent. Hits a Woodland Cemetery. And passes. 
Well, play the planes, play History of Benalia. Pass the turn. That seems like a pretty good draw. Woodland Cemetery. Plague Crafter. Okay. Well, we do lose a, a token. Plague Crafter does not seem very good against us, though. I guess we'll sack the knight. Opponent mills some more cards. And? Not sure what they're thinking about. Maybe they just want their Seeker Squire to die? Alright, we get a token. Play Sapling Migration. Play a Plains. Um, yeah, I guess we get in with Amara. Make a token. Opponent gonna trade with Plague Crafter. Sure. Yep. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. And... Passes. All right, so pump our knight, play the forest, go to combat, get in with our knight. Opponent takes it. Well, now we just get to pass and start March of Multituding Hinterland Harbor for our opponent, the Eldest Reborn. Well, let's March of Multitudes. X6, sack a sapperling. Do we just... I think we just win. Good god, this deck. Sapperling Migration. I'll go to combat. Attack. I think this is just lethal, though. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks. Now we just... Pride of Conquerors. And that is... Wow! Alright! <laughs> alright, alright! Uh, that's a lot of damage. That was pretty impressive for our deck. Uh, so what are we expecting our opponent to bring in? That's the question. Hmm. What do we not want? They could have, like, Plaguecraft... Uh, not Plaguecrafter. The Black Goblin Chain Whirler thing. Citywide Bust doesn't seem great against our opponent. Shalai is another way we can pump our stuff. Knight of Autumn. I don't know if it's as good as Conclave Tribunal... Maybe Dawn of Hope, just to grind a little bit more. This seems like a grindy matchup. Let's try the Dawn of Hope. I wonder if Vivian Reed is worth it. Maybe we go down like one Amara and one District Guide. Yeah, let's try it like that. See how good Dawn of Hope is. Well, March of the Multitudes, untap, pump all your tokens. Seems reasonable. <laughs> okay, well... I guess we'll keep this. It's a little clunky because our land comes into play untapped, although Flower does find us lands. Overgrown Tomb. Untapped. And Duress. All right. I mean, I guess Duress on Flower, Duress on Flower could mana screw us. Opponent did have to spend two life, though, to Duress us. Takes a History. And passes. Well, Sun Petal Grove, you. Opponent. Forest. And Seeker Squire. Alright. Starts the exploring. Hits a Plague Crafter. Doesn't seem great against our deck. I would think you'd sideboard out Plague Crafter against our deck, honestly. Opponent leaves it on top. Well, let's flower. Take a Plains. Play the Plains. Play Legion's Landing. Pass the turn. Yeah, Playcrafter seems really bad against our deck. Like, our opponent's going to have to sack a real creature to kill a token? Opponent gets it. Yep. Down to 18. Watery Grave. Tapped. And passes. Well, let's flower. Get a Plains. Play the Plains. Play Amara. Get in with our Vampire. Pass the turn. What do you got about it? Like, can you even? All right, Seeker Squire. That makes more sense than Plague Crafter. Bone ends. Hits a land. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. And passes. Well, let's just History of Penalia. Make a Knight. Pass the turn. Venerated Loxodon should be good in the future. Triggers Amara, pumps our dorks. 
Stitcher supplier, does some milling, connive concoct, mausoleum secrets, opponent's got some spice, woodland cemetery, and there's the plague crafter. All right, I will sack the vampire. Yeah, sack the vampire. Stitcher supplier, Ugh, ritual of soot. That's pretty good against us. Opponent passes. Well, make a knight. Play venerated Loxodon. Make a token. Pump the dorks. Play the forest. Pass the turn. See if our team keeps a living. Ritual of Soot gets us. Although we have grown our team outside of the range of, like, Golden Demise. And definitely... Oh my god, I can never... Plague Mare! I can never think of the name of the Black Chain Whirler. Alright, opponent's gotta land two cards in hand. Here comes something. Vraska, Relic Seeker. Makes a pirate. Alright. Opponent passes. Ooh, there's Dawn of Hope. Well, pump our knights. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Make a token. Flip Legion's Landing. If opponent's not careful, we can just steal this win with Pride of Conquerors. Opponent does have to do some blocking. All right, blocks with Plague Crafter. Blocks with Seeker Squire. Blocks. And blocks. Hmm. Maybe we just let this go. We lose a token and a Mara. But then we can play a Mara... Conclave Tribunal for Rasca? I think that's fine. All right, sure. So stuff dies. We play second Amara. Actually, we can do even more, can't we? We can play Dawn of Hope. Conclave Tribunal. Get rid of Rasca. Pass the turn. This deck feels like it spirals out of control pretty well. Seeker Squire goes exploring. Hinterland Arbor, yup. Well, one unknown in our opponent's hand. They need, like, Ritual of Soot. Izareth is a spicy one. Does that keep our opponent alive? One, two, three, four. Uh, I think just barely. Opponent passes. District Guide. Well, go to combat. Attack. Make a token. So opponent's got to block with everything just to stay, yeah. Opponent has to block all of our biggest things or they're dead. Blocks, 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 and blocks. Well, let's Pride of Conquerors. Kill a bunch of stuff. Draw a card. And, yeah, I guess we pass. Well, opponents to the sweeper bust. Dawn of Hope kind of coming through. And? Do we get there? I think we might have got there. Green white tokens. Uh-oh. Opponent actually has something. Oh, they found ritual. Okay. Oh, it doesn't do it. <laughs> so close. And we got the GGs. All right. Well, green white tokens. Whoo. Ritual of Soot almost in time. If that happened last turn, it might have uh, it might have changed things. But we just managed to sneak it out. And opponent scoops it up. All right. Selesnia Tokens. Looking good at that one. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Macho Brew about nothing time. We are playing some Selesnia Tokens. And Guilds of Ravnica Standard. And... I mean, this hand's fine-ish. We got some token producers. Little light on payoffs, but hopefully we draw into them. Got some removals. Mountain. Ooh. Opponent's goblining. Interesting. Well, Temple Garden tapped. Get in with our vampire. We're pretty fine with this trade, I think. All right. Opponent takes it. Well, History of Benalia is good against... Aggro. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Down to 18. We'll play the forest. Get in with our vampire. Gain a little bit of life. Run out our history of Benalia. Pass the turn. Well, this is where something like... Hmm. Goblin Chain Whirler. That is a concern in this matchup. 
Thankfully, our history of Manalia tokens do survive. Opponent. All right, Goblin Instigator. Going wide. Yup. And passes. Ooh, there's a Mara. Make a token. Let's play a Mara. Let's Conclave Tribunal. Make a token. And I think we just get rid of Prospector. Prospector allows for scary, scary big mana stuff with all these tokens. Play Temple Garden tapped. Well, I mean, let's get in with the Knight. If our opponent wants to trade both, that's fine. All right, opponent's going to trade. Sure. All right, yep. Well, pass the turn. We really would like to flip this Legion's Landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have more than enough permanence for City's Blessing. Legion War Boss for our opponent. Makes a token. Gets it. Yup. Well, we're down to 18. We ultimate history banalia. Four. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we don't quite win. Actually, let's So let's Conclave Tribunal. Get rid of the war boss. Temple Garden untapped. Go to combat. Attack with everything. Flip. And yeah, we're just going to force through the damage. I mean, Pride of Conquerors. Not quite lethal, but that's a lot of damage. Down to two. We're up to 22. And uh, opponent needs to be able to answer everything. Man, this deck can get some scary starts. That was turn five. Turn five, and we cast a lot of mana worth of spells. Opponent, Mountain. Instigator. Yup. Man, imagine if we drew, like, March of the Multitudes here. And... Oh, not Jane Whirler. <laughs> Banefire Amara, sure. Opponent. Passes. <laughs> Our what, Tristani? Oh, that is very good timing. Tristani, off the top. And that's just lethal. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, we are uh we are out tokening the goblins here. Man, dodging the chain whirlers, which is pretty good for us. Pump the dorks. Make some more dorks. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. And opponent scoops it up. Sweet. All right, as far as sideboarding, we want Settle the Wreckage. Go down District Guide. Maybe we go down all the District Guides and bring in Knight of Autumn for a bit of life gain. Yeah, let's try it like that. Um, yeah, all right. We can make a bunch of blockers. I guess this is pretty fine. Mountain for our opponent. And, all right. Rigging runner, thankfully, just a 1 1. Well, Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. Well, double history of Benali is good. We'll see. Opponent. Getting in for one with the rigging runner. Yup. Ooh, there's March Multitudes. Well, play the planes, and let's just. Sapling migration. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Ugh. Well, there's a Chain Whirler. We were a little worried about that. Opponent gets in. Chain Whirler is a blowout. I'll play the planes. Play History Banalia. Make something that doesn't die to this obnoxious Chain Whirler. We are going to take our beats from this Chain Whirler, though. Opponent. Untaps. Mountain. Oh, goodness. Oh! Oh, what a goblin draw. What a goblin draw. Opponent gets in for four. Yeah, this seems like a very good goblin draw. Ugh, more flower flourish. Well, flower, get a land out of our deck. 
planes. Play the planes. Play another history of Benalia. Pass the turn. Opponent. Trash master to pump the torques. Oh my god. Wow. 5, 9, 10, 11. All right. That is maybe the best goblin draw I've ever seen. Down to two. Well, pump our knights, make a knight. Play a forest. Play legion's landing. Get in with our knights. Opponent, all right, takes it. I'll pass the turn. We're dead to a burn spell. And that is a burn spell. All right. Well, that was a pretty impressive draw for goblins. I don't know if it's always that good, but that was very impressive draw. Hmm. Should we be sideboarding out things like Sapperling Migration? Because they die to... I guess we could bring in Baffling Ends as more removal. Let's bring in Baffling End. Go down a land. Uh, we just We need tokens for our token plan to work. But Goblin Chain Whirler is so brutal. Yeah, let's go down one sapling migration. Try it like that. Well, I don't think all Goblin's draws can be as good as that one. Well, we got a classic no-lander. All right. This is not a hand that we'd be excited about, but we do have to settle the wreckage. We'll keep... Conclave Tribunal, we really need token production to the bottom. So play a forest, flower, get a plains, pass the turn. Come on, good magic cards, no lands, opponent, rigging runner, okay, and passes. That's another flower. Well, you just can't get away from these flower flourishes. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess it's slightly better than just drawing an actual land, maybe. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Well, go to combat. Get in with Amara. Make a token. Um, Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. Do they have a Chain Whirler? Answer seems to be yes. Chain Whirler. Well, not as bad as it could have been. Clears a token. Gets in for one. We draw more lands. We'll play Sun Petal Grove. And let's just... Loxodon. Tapping Amara. Make a token. Pump Amara. Pass the turn. Bone it. Mountain. And Trashy. Opponent. Gets in with Chain Whirler. Staying aggressive. Yep. Well. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Make a token. Opponent takes it. Well, play a planes. Pass the turn. Mountain. Siege gang commander. Okay. Make some goblins. Well, I guess it's time to do some wreckage settling. Opponent. Passes. Ooh, there's Tribunal 2. Well, let's Tribunal. Get rid of Siege Gang. Oh, disaster perhaps averted. Go attacking. Gain some life. Make a 1-1. One, one. 
Amaro's been pretty good this game. When you can tap her every turn, that is... We've made, like, three tokens, I think, with Amaro, which is pretty good. Opponent? All right. Blocks. Drops to six. Untaps. Plays a land. Three cards in hand. Trash Master. Opponent. Passing. We draw. Well, Legion's Landing. Play Legion's Landing. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Yeah, attack, attack, attack. Make a token. Flip Legion's Landing. And this gives us the mana for Flourish next turn. Opponent eats a token. Blocks. And blocks. All right. Well, kill a goblin. Play Amara, number two. Pass the turn. Wow. Are we going to grind it out through the Chade Whirler? Land for our opponent. Okay. Oh. An opponent scoops it up? All right. Tokens. Celestia tokens through the Chade Whirler. Well, that's a good sign for our deck. If we can grind through Chain Whirlers, that's super good news. All right. Sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Selesnia tokens in Guilds of Ravnica Standard. And, oh man, this is this is the, the nut draw. I mean, we're on the draw, but this draw is pretty good. We own a Vanguard for our opponent. All right. Well, Temple Garden tapped past the turn. The question's going to be... Hmm. So we Sapperling Migration next turn. We can just immediately... All right, there's a Dauntless Bodyguard. And Leon and Vanguard. Yeah, opponent's off to a fast start. Uh, okay. Opponent gets in for two. Down to 18. Ugh, more lands. More lands is making this draw a little bit sadder. Well, play Sapperling Migration. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Goes to combat. Triggers, triggers. Attacks. Well, we will kill this thing all right pride of the conquerors sure down to 12 well play the planes play history of manalia pass the turn oh, we got to keep blocking we got to just run our opponent out of pump spells i guess planes bodyguard goes to combat attacks well let's block bonus x yep so we lose a knight, down to 10. Opponent passes. We get a knight. Play a planes. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, venerated Loxodon. Pass the turn. Oh, can we stall out enough to get through this early rush of white creatures? Found it. Uh-oh. Oh, they also have Loxodon. All right, Loxodon pumps the dorks. Yep, opponent passing. Well, let's pump. Hmm. Play Legion's Landing. Make a token. Play District Guide. Get a land. Play the land. Venerated Loxodon. And a post scoops it up! Oh, boy. All right, two Loxodons appears to be enough. All right, that was good. So opponent's also playing a token deck. They're playing, or not a token deck, but like a white aggro deck. We're playing tokens. They're playing like white weenie. So we want to settle the wreckages. Citywide Bust has not been good in any of our matchups. Sooner or later, we'll play like the mono green deck. Knight of Autumn might be worth it. It does gain us some life. Huh. What are we going to cut? Let's go down two district guides. We could also bring in baffling ends. Maybe that's what we want. Let's go down all the district guides in one land. Bring in two baffling ends. Bring in the two settle the wreckages. Try it like that. I mean, I think because we have March of the Multitudes, we should win the long game. So our challenge is basically surviving until we get to the long game. This hand's not bad. Opponent. One drop, of course. Dauntless Bodyguard. 
And passes. Hmm. <laughs> I'll play the planes. And yeah, I guess we just flower. Get a land out of our deck. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Dauntless Bodyguard, part two. Man, sapling migration would be sweet. Opponent, getting in. Yeah. Down to 18. I'll play a forest, run out Amara. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. And history of Manalia. All right, opponent's going aggro. Gets it. Well, we'll take it. Down to 14. I'll play the planes. Conclave Tribunal. Make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, let's just hit the knight token. Pass the turn. Opponent gets another knight. Yup. Oh, it's gonna be close. What do you got about it? Planes. Benel ugh, Benelish Marshal. That's not ideal. And a Loxodon. Oh god. Alright. I'll play a forest. Pass the turn. We gotta hope our opponent plays into this settle the wreckage. This is a tempting time for our opponent to go on a major attack. Let's see how they attack. Goes to combat. Two knights. Hmm. Well, settle the wreckage. Not full value, but as much value as we're going to get. And we can't just get beaten down there. Opponent. A Johnny. Annoying. Counters on the dorks. Opponent passes. I'll play Sun Petal Grove. Venerated Loxodon. Make a token. We're going to need a March of the Multitudes, I think. Pass the turn. That's the card that could let us steal this. Opponent. Tribunal. Oh, boy. Well, come on, March of the Multitudes. Hits our lifelinker. Counters on the dorks. Attacks. Well, all right. We take 13. If you got a pump spell, we're dead. Down to one. Opponent passes. That is March of the Multitudes. We'll play a planes. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we just pass. And March of the Multitudes for max value. Man, I think March of the Multitudes might let us steal this. Amazingly enough, that was the perfect draw. All right, gets back to Hauntless Bodyguard. Yup. For Benelish Marshal. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. Well, well, that's March of the Multitudes. Six tokens. Chump. Chump. Yup. Opponent plays a land. And passes. Hmm. I'll go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. Well, Pride of Conquerors. And a post groups it up! They did not have the settle and a timely March of the Multitudes. That is the combo. I almost wonder if this deck should have more Pride of Conquerors because end of turn, March of Multitudes, untap Pride of Conquerors. That is a very game-winning play. That's one of multiple games and we were looking pretty behind and that is a power of March of the Multitudes. So, hey, all right. Macha brew about nothing time. We are playing some Selesnia tokens in standard, and we're gonna keep this. We would like another land, but this is close enough. If we get one more land, this hand's great. But even as is, it's well, we do need another land at some point. Legion landing go. If we could draw uh, hmm. Ooh, opponent's also tokening. Opponent passes. Well, get in with our vampire. Opponent block. Well, play Legion's Landing. Mega token. Temple Garden tapped. Oh, come on, land. If we get one land, we get another land with District Guide, and then we're... Ooh. This deck is not the same as ours. Land. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dream dying. <laughs> oh, boy. We need this land. Clifftop Retreat. Benelish Marshal, opponent, gets in, land, land for the love of God, March of the Multitudes, uh-oh, 
Yeah, looking grim, boys and girls. We needed to draw, whoo, a Johnny. We needed to draw lands a smidge quicker. Opponent gets in, 4-8. Opponent's got a great start. Our start was also great, but we are lacking, ugh, all right. Yep, uh, okay, well, magic odds, magic odds. Oh, magic odds. Why, magic odds, why? All right, bring in the two Settle the Wreckages. Bring in the two Baffling Ends. Go down District Guide and go down one Plains. I know it seems weird to cut a land when we just got mana screwed, but we have to not be too results oriented. All right, we're on the play. Well, we got, oh boy. Now we have the opposite problem. We have just all lands. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can't keep the six lander. Oh boy. Oh, magic odds. Why now? Things were going so well. Uh, <laughs> this hand's bad too. Hmm. Well, all right. Ugh. I don't want to go to five though. Five is so hard to win on. We do get to scry. If we can string together some token makers, we got a chance. I guess we'll keep. Not thrilled about this hand by any stretch, though. Alright. Well, Legion's Landing is not the absolute worst. If we can flip it, it does give us a repeatable source of value. Which is kind of a way to dig out of a mulligan. Dauntless Bodyguard for our opponent. Well, play the planes. Legion's Landing. All right, Dak, it's up to you. We're going to need to draw some, like, history of banalias. Clifftop Retreat. Opponent. Passes. Play Sun Petal Grove. Pass the turn. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Benelish Marshal for our opponent. It's in 4-3. Okay. Untap. Oh, dear, more Pride of Conquerors. Well, Conclave Tribunal. Get rid of the marshal. Get in for one. Pass the turn. Sacred Foundry untapped. Legion's Landing for our opponent. And Adanto Vanguard. And oh my god, their own. Oh, what a turn. What a turn for our opponent. Now let's. Conclave Tribunal. Hit Conclave Tribunal. Hit Benelish Marshal. But our opponent's going to flip Legion's Landing, and we are not going to flip Legion's Landing. Untap Sacred Foundry. Wow. Extra combat. All right. Well, we take our beads. Opponent flips. Sure. Down to 12. Opponent gets in. Down to 6. And passes. I'll play Venerated Loxodon. We're super far behind, though. Pass the turn. Aww. Alright. Well, I guess you can't win them all. Opponent untaps. Land. Goes to combat. Attacks with everything. All right, passes. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess we just pass. Ugh. But our opponent just gets to start making tokens. Opponent, no attacks. Well, let's baffling end. Get rid of Adanto. Sapperling migration. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a life linker. What did they find? Ixalan's Binding. Hits Tribunal. Gets back Tribunal. Hits Tribunal. Gets back Benelish Marshal. Opponent. No attacks. I'll play Sun Petal Grove. Go to combat. Attack with everything. We need to flip our Legion's Landing. Flip. Legion's Landing. 
Well, these are big blocks. If our opponent blocks wrong, opponent blocks, 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 blocks. All right, well, I guess we just pride of the conquerors. Uh, opponent has removal. Okay. Yeah, and then Pride of the Conquerors. Well, pass the turn. We're technically alive ish. We're back up to 12. Legion's Landing makes a 1 1. Opponent gets it. We're going to need to find a March of the Multitudes. That's the card that can catch us back up. Flower, one, two, three. All right, well. Get in with our vampire. Opponent trades. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a vampire. Plays the land. Goes to combat. Now we'll take it. Down to nine. Well, we will make a vampire. March of the Multitudes. Play the planes. Pass the turn. Opponent's making two twos. Why we're making one ones. Land for our opponent. Attacks, attacks. All right, we'll take it. Down to five. Make a token. Well, kick sapling migration. March of the Multitudes. March of the Multitudes. Make some tokens. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a 2 2. Yes, Benelish Marshall's been great for our opponent. Finds a Johnny. Counters on the Dorks. No attacks. March of the Multitudes. Well, play the Forest. Pass the turn. Opponent. Token. Yup. Oh man, March would be... S March would probably win us the game, actually. Counters on the dorks. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well. Settle the wreckage. Conclave Tribunal. That doesn't do much. Hits Baffling End? Okay. I guess that gets them a token. Well, let's draw March of the Multitudes. Make a token. Untap. Well, play History of Benalia. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a token. Yeah, we're running out of time. We can stay alive like another turn or two. But then we're going to lose so many creatures that even March of the Multitudes isn't going to be great. Counters on the dorks. Opponent. No attacks. Well, come on, March. We got four of them in our deck. Make a token. Ooh. All right. Make a knight. Baffling End is pretty good. Gets rid of Benelish Marshall. Well, I guess we just have to flourish. Opponent can block three. So one, two, three, or four. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Huh. Do we just have to kill a Johnny? We can't really let this emblem. I'll go to combat. A Johnny, a Johnny, a Johnny, a Johnny. One, two, three, four. A Johnny, five. A Johnny, a Johnny, a Johnny. Opponent, opponent. So they, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so this kills... 
All right, this is fine. So we kill a Johnny and get in a little bit of damage at our opponent. And gain back a huge chunk of life. So we're not in danger of dying. Opponent makes a blocker. All right, a Johnny down. We're back to 17-17. This has been a ridiculous game. Knight of Grays. What a ridiculous match. The good news here is we're drawing towards March of the Multitudes. And our opponent isn't. And if we ever draw March of the Multitudes, we should just win. Well, let's kill this 3-3 vampire. Yup. Down to 14. Opponent passes. We draw a Temple Garden. Well, pump our knight. Attack with our knight. Oh, come on, March of the Multitudes. Opponent makes a token. Takes it. Now we pass the turn. Knight of Grace. Opponent. Passing. Well, make a token. Untap. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to do it again. Flourish. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent makes a token. Blocks. 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 Blocks, blocks, blocks. All right. Well, a bunch of stuff dies. Opponent goes to eight. We go to 29. Pass the turn. History of Benalia for our opponent. That's not a bad one. That'll pump their knights eventually. Oh, come on, March of the Multitudes. Opponent gets in for two, gains some life. Yup. Passes. Well, Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. Oh, we just can't find it. We can't find our March of the Multitudes. We're up to 27, which is good. Makes a knight. Opponent. Gets in. Well. Block. Eh, block, block. Kill the knight, gain some life. Make a token. Temple Garden. Tapped. Oh, this game. Pass the turn. <laughs> Oh, what we would give for a March of the Multitudes. Found it. Makes a token. History of Benalia. Ultimates. Pumps the dorks. Pwn it. Attacks. And we'll just take four. Yup. Down to 26. Make a token. On tap. Play the planes. Pass the turn. I mean, Settle's a nice safety valve, but we still want March of the Multitudes. Opponent makes a token. This has been a ridiculous game. Opponent, passing. Well, make a token. Opponent could also have Settle in their hand. Untap. Play the forest. Pass the turn. By playing our lands here, it most likely makes our... I, we're trying to make our opponent think that that last card in hand is a land and that we have two lands and we're just continually playing the extra one. So that's why we're playing them instead of folding them. Mega token. Well, I mean, Amara's fine. Boy, we would give anything for March of the Multitudes. Huatli would be sweet. I kind of want to put Huatli in this deck. Bone it. Untaps. Benelish Marshall. Pumping the dorks. Opponent attacks, flips. Well, make a token. Yeah, let's just take it for now. We really want to have a lot of tokens when we draw March of the Multitudes. Down to 19. Opponent passes. Well, Tristani's not bad. Play Tristani. Now we have some pumping as well. Pump our dorks. Make some dorks. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> The most ridiculous of matches. Pwn it, token. <laughs> Guilds of Ravnica standard seems pretty fun. Pwn it. Conclave Tribunal to get rid of our Trostani. Okay. Goes to combat. Attacks. Well, kill a couple tokens. I guess we should have blocked with all the lifelinkers. We'll make a token. Untap. Play Legion's Landing. Make a token. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a token. Untaps. 
We went through half of our deck and drawn zero March of Multitudes. It would make so many tokens. Ponent. Attacks. So I think the correct way to block is just put all of our lifelink tokens in front of a single one of our opponent's tokens. We should have been doing this all along. Yep. Well, make a token. We will draw March of the Multitudes eventually. Like, it's in our deck. Well. Sapling Migration. Kick it. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a way to sweep away our tokens. That would be... If they had, like, Goblin Chain Whirler, they shouldn't. You can't play Chain Whirler and Benelish Marshal. That would just be insane. Another Legion's Landing. Uh-huh. Makes it... This has been the most ridiculous game. <laughs> Pwned it. Goes attacking. Flips. Well, we will... Okay, opponent going to make a token. We will also make a token. Yup. Transforms. All right, opponent transforms. Adanto. Yup. So we do our same block. All our lifelinkers in front of one vampire. This way we're gaining life from each of them. So we're losing two tokens. But we're not losing life. We can't actually cast Conclave Tribunal because of our opponent's Ixalan's Binding. Pass the turn. Mag's a token. It is a little unfortunate that we have not found a... <laughs> our opponent just said if you had a March of the Multitudes, I'd be dead. And uh, our opponent is correct. But we we have them all floating around in our deck. <sighs> all right, let's do this. Settle. Make a token. Untap. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's the one we've been waiting for. All right. That should that should do it. Huh. 32 cards deep before we found our first copy, but this is going to be a good a good march of the multitudes. Dauntless bodyguard. We don't have any pump, but it is still that's a lot of tokens. Opponent. Opponent also mills out before us because of settle the wreckage. Well, all right. Let's march in the multitudes. This is going to be pretty good. Oh my god. 24! Uh, X24. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh boy! <laughs> and there's an extra one from Abara as well. Oh. Opponent scoops it up and we ground it out. Our trump card! Finally! Finally! Oh, that's the card that lets us win the matchup. Wow. All right. That was something. Good God. Well, if that's how the game's going to go, maybe we want Dawn of Hope. Maybe Dawn of Hope. Huh. Or shall I? If it's going to be this big grind of us both just making infinite tokens, it seems like... It seems like whoever can make their tokens biggest wins. Maybe we do want Shalai. Go up Shalai's. Cut. Maybe like one Amara. Amara seems pretty rough in this matchup. Because they have all those first striking knights. So especially with us being on the draw, it's so unlikely we're actually going to get to attack with it. So we're pretty much just convoking it. Let's go down two Amaras for two Shalai's. Try it like that. Wow, that was a ridiculous match. Well, here we go, game three. Oh, that was so crazy. All right, and okay. Uh, Sans a smidge slower than we'd like, but we gotta keep it. Sacred Foundry. All right, no one drop is good. Temple Garden, tapped. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Ooh, opponent's off to a bit of a slow start, too, and we draw Sapperling Migration. All right, that's good. Sapperling Migration, go. And we have our March of Multitudes in hand this time. All right, take that. <laughs> Two one ones. Opponent. All right, History of Benalia, sure. Opponent passes. Well, play Temple Garden, untapped. Play our own History of Benalia. Pass the turn. Opponent makes another knight. Benelish Marshal. Gets in. Well, block, block. Untap. Make a token. Play Sapperling Migration. Play 
Conclave Tribunal on Benelish Marshall. Pass the turn. So opponent, last history of Benalia counter. Sky Marcher is Pirate. And Legion's Landing. Uh-huh. Opponent. Gets in for four. Hmm. Well, let's get in with our knight. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Ixalan's Binding. On our Conclave Tribunal. Okay. Goes to combat. Attacks. Flips. Well, let's march the multitudes. Make four tokens. Three, six. Well, we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's take our beats down to six. Go to combat. Attack. See how our opponent blocks. Is this lethal? I think it might be. Opponent blocks. Do we get the combo kill? I haven't counted, but I think this is lethal. Opponent blocks and blocks. Okay. And this has all been with three lands. Three lands! Opponent. <laughs> I can't believe this game is going to go in our favor, but I think we're winning this. Wow. Unblocks, unblocks. I think our opponent's realizing they're dead if we have Pride of Conquerors, so there's no point in blocking. And this gives them the best chance of winning on the backswing if we don't have it, but we're going to gain a bunch of life either way. All right, blocks and blocks. Well, Pride of Conquerors. Game. Exaxes. <laughs> oh, coming through, coming through, coming through. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Green white tokens. <laughs> Selesnia tokens. And uh, we're going for the 5-0 next round. Going for the 5-0. One more round to go. And the deck feels pretty legit. Sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. Trying to finish off the perfect 5-0 with Selesnia tokens. And we'll keep this. Uh, we would like a token producer. That's kind of what we're missing. So this hand's a bit slower than we'd really like, but we're going to try it anyway. Temple Garden Go. We could just draw an early game token producer for this venerated Loxodon. Island for our opponent. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Amara's pretty sweet here. Play the land. Play Amara. Pass the turn. That's a way we can start making tokens. Opponent. Island. And... Gets in for one. All right, we'll take it. Well, we got to take it. <laughs> Can't be blocked. Opponent passes. Well, play the planes. Go to combat. Attack. I'm expecting... Yeah, Trickster. Targets Amara. Opponent block. All right, we'll let it go. Play District Guide. We have more Amaras where that came from. Grab a planes. Pass the turn. Island. And gets it. Yep. Down to 18. Tempest Shin. Well, we don't have a way to straight up kill that. Play the planes. Flower. Get a planes. Venerated Loxodon. Pump the door. Pass the turn. I think what we're looking to set up is March of the Multitudes, untapped Pride of Conquerors kill. All right. Another land for our opponent. Speeding up their clock a bit. Jin up to a 4-4. Four, four. Opponent gets in for 5. All right, we'll take it. Down to 13. Siren Storm Tamer. Opponent passes. Legion's Landing. Well, play the planes. Play Legion's Landing. Opponent has Wizard's Retort. Well, how do we want to do this? We can march to the multitudes, or we can just attack. Maybe just attacking is fine. We gain two, hit our opponent for a bunch. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent down to 11. Pass the turn. We go back up to 15. Opponent, thinking it over. 
I mean, I feel like we're hopefully in okay shape. Pwn it. Gets in, gets in. Yep. So we're down to 10. Well, March of the Multitudes. Just a sad one. Four mana, one, one. Wow, opponent's going to counter. Okay, opponent counters. We untap. Flower. Grab a land. Play the land. Go attacking. Opponent blocks. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We go up to 12. Opponent down to six. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Are they done attacking? They might have to stop attacking. Wow. Opponent gets in. Hits us. All right. Going all out. Down to seven. Miss Cloak Herald. Opponent passes. Well, play Legion's Landing. Make a token. Go to combat. Attack. Flip. Opponent blocks well we pride of conquerors you got a counter and a pulse scoops it up all right staying alive staying alive one game to go for the 5-0 all right what do we do against mono blue flyers how do we take down this deck mono blue unblockable something like that uh they get a million counters most likely uh what is our plan what is our plan how do we fight through it? Shalai seems good. Baffling End seems good. Vivian Reed destroys creatures with flying. If we can resolve it, that also seems good. They can't really punish our tokens, but they can counter our stuff. Baffling End in. District Guides out. Shalai in. What about maybe Settle the Wreckage? Uh, how do we make room for one Settle? Let's go down one planes for one Settle. I don't think we're going to bring in Vivian Reed. I think it's just too slow. And uh, let's try it like that. One more to go. One more to go for the 5-0 with Slesnia tokens. Oh, God. Literal 7 lander. <laughs> Flower is basically a land. So, all right. Going to 6. Well, fair enough. Sapling Migration, Venerated Loxodon. Fingers crossed. Opponent's also going to 6. Oh, going to 5. Okay. Keeps it five. Gets to scry. Oh, it's the it's the nut draw. It's the dream. I mean counters can disrupt it, but this is this is the draw we've been waiting for. Miss Cloak Herald. Opponent passes. Temple Garden. Tapped. Pass the turd. Sapling migration, sapling migration, venerated Loxodon. This is the hollow one star. What do you got, opponent? Not card draw. Oh, curious obsession. Well, that is what we did not want to see. Now our opponent gets to draw two cards a turn, which is going to find them counters like crazy. That's the way you get out of a mulligan. Miss Cloak Carol Curious Obsession. Opponent draws a card. Passes. Well, play the planes. Play Sapling Migration. Uh, opponent ops. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they have counters. Scries to the bottom. Pass the turn. We can't block this, so our opponent has their own personal howling mind for the rest of infinity. Island. Oh, we really wanted to kill this. Opponent. Wow. Wow, and we got no answer. Gets in. That's kind of the nightmare. Hits us. Draws a million. Okay. Well, now we cross our fingers and hope our opponent doesn't have a counter. That's all we can do. Opponent passes. I'll play the planes. Play Sapling Migration. Play Venerated Loxodon. No counters. No counters. All right. Well, you draw cards, opponent. We will attack you. Let's see who wins. We're ending turn three with 12 power. In standard, hollow one style. Land for our opponent. Gets in, draws a million cards. Yep. Oh, man. This mystical Carol is doing work for our opponent. Well, we're just going to be swinging. We swing and hope that it's enough. They're mono blue. They shouldn't really have much removal. All right. Down to 12. Opponent, six cards in hand. Tempest in. And passes. I'll play a forest. 
Go to combat. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks. Takes 10. Play history of Benalia. Pass the turn. Oh, opponent's just drawn so many cards. We are not a deck that can punish the Miss Cloak Herald. Double Curious Obsession line very easily. Opponent gets in. Gets in. All right. Down to four. And I think our opponent's going to win this race. Well, drawing seven extra cards by turn five. That's a good way to win games. We had our nut, our nut draw, but our opponent just had... We couldn't deal with Miss Cloak Herald. That was the game right there. Exclusion Mage. It doesn't even seem like a very good card, but bounces a token. Okay. Miss Cloak Herald. Miss Cloak Herald. Yeah. Dream dead. Forest, and uh, yeah, we'll scoop it up. All right. Well, we just did not have the answer to our opponent's Curious Obsession plan. We had a good start. We were unfortunately on the draw, and our opponent just uh, hit the old home run with their start. I still don't think Knight of Autumn's good enough. Killing a Curious Obsession. Vivian Reed's too slow. Maybe shall I? Maybe we just go both settle the wreckages. Just bring in as many answers as possible. All right, try it like that. Well, here we go. This is for the 5-0. It all comes down to this one single game against... <laughs> Mono blue, uh, mono blue jank. Can Selesnia tokens keep up? We'll find out. All right, we're on the play. Well, I guess we keep this. Temple Garden, untapped. Legion's Landing. Pass the turn. Just drawing a land for Sapperling Migration would be best, but we can flower for it if we have to. Island for our opponent. And there's the Miss Cole Carol, of course. Opponent. Passing. Land, maybe? That is a land. All right. So get in with our vampire. Hit our opponent. Wow. Trades it off. That's fine. Well, we will. Sapperling migration. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Siren storm tamer. And storm tamer. Sure. Well, come on. One more land off the top. And then no more lands. Land? That's a land. Well, we will. Venerated Loxodon. Pump our tokens. Get a 4-4. Four, four. Pass the turn. Not a bad turn three. Land for our opponent. If we get to attack next turn, we also get to flip this Legion's Landing, which would be good. Miss Cloak Herald. And we do have removal in hand this time. Opponent. Gets in for two, sure. Down to 17. Opponent passes. Well, play the planes. Go to combat. Attack. Transform. Opponent jumps. Down to 16. Well, we'll just pass. Start making tokens. Opponent untaps. This is pretty much where we're hoping to be. Curious obsession. Opponent. Gets in. Gets in. All right. They're going to try to race. Well, sure. We'll take two. You draw a card. Opponent. Exclusion Mage. Bounces a token. Well, we will make a token. Yep. Untap. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. Sure. Well, we will... Tribunal. Deal with this Curious Obsession Storm Tamer. Opponent doesn't have the mana. All right. Curious Obsession and Storm Tamer down. So we're not going to get snowballed. Play Temple Garden. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Two cards in hand. Gets in for one. Yep. Down to 14. And passes. Well, go to combat attack opponent takes it to seven pass the turn opponent untaps i think it's coming i think the 5-0 is coming land for our opponent yup no attacks passes well we make a token untap play the forest go to combat attack 
opponent jumps, drops to five. We pass the turn. Our opponent's going to need something super good. Celestia tokens for the 5 0? And opponent scoops it up, and that's the 5 0. And Celestia tokens, we just cruised. We cruised all the way through our league to the 5 0 finish. Uh, that is pretty awesome. That is super, super good. And uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. We just kind of crushed it. We just kind of crushed this league with Slesnia tokens. And that means we got eight treasure chests to open. Oh, all right. Well, we can talk about that in the wrap up. Let's see how these treasure chests treat us. Oh, uh, come on, treasure chests. You can do it. Got to feed, uh, feed the children. All right, here we go. Here comes the chest. Number one, we get 15 play points. All right. Number two, we get repeating barrage still don't think that's gonna catch on in standard number three all right 40 play points boros challenger that's a playable common or uncommon 40 play points is not bad that's like four dollars of play points artificers intuition someday it'll be broken in a combo not yet though 20 play points luxury sweet still boros locket good for limited three to go Ooh, Leyline of the Void is a good one. That's a win. That's a win. Leyline of the Void comes in at how much? I know it's worth something. 14 ticks. Well, that uh, kind of pays for the league right there. Plus, we got our play points back. Next, we get Teferi. Oh my god, it keeps going. These treasure chests, they've been great. Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, comes in at 32 ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Celestia Tokens is definitely paying off. And last one, 10 play points. Well, that was good. We opened like almost 50 ticks of cards and got like 10 ticks of play points. And went 5-0 with Celestia Tokens. What more could you want? What more could you want? All right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll be back with the wrap up. Sweet. So what did we learn this week about Celestia Tokens in Guilds of Ravnica standard? And... The deck crushed it. We played a friendly league. We went 5-0 in our friendly league. And we killed it with the treasure chest to ferry, opening up like $50 worth of ticks. Also the ley line of the void, some play points. So all around, this was a good league. We did a lot of winning and we even won in our treasure chest, which is not something that happens very often for us. Usually we open duds of treasure chests. So all around, the deck was great. And I felt like we did a pretty good job of fighting through a lot of fairly tough matchups like we played a chain whirler deck and we were able to beat it and we were able to overcome some really sticky situations a game against red white aggro or boros aggro my god was that a crazy game that i thought we had lost multiple times but i think selesnia tokens while obviously it's like right after set release the brews will still kind of get tuned we'll figure out do you need district guide how many amaras is right tristani do you want more do you want less uh, we'll figure out those little things around the edges of the deck, but I'm pretty sure the deck has the power to compete in standard. The fast starts that it enables of like Legion's Landing, Double Sapperling Migration, into Venerated Loxodon, 12 power on turn three. Those are as good as you can get in standard with just about any deck. And then March of the Multitudes is just a great finisher. It was a card where we knew in these grindy matchups where the board would get locked down, we're both kind of like staring at each other with the a bunch of creatures on the ground and no one can really attack we always knew that we were favored because sooner or later we would draw march of the multitudes and i think in the one game we made like 20 tokens with it but we had this amazing bomb that just wins us the game which is also fine on its own even when we just kind of curve out make some tokens and on turn five spend all of our mana tap our team make some tokens in that sense it's still very powerful and then in the best case when the board gets gummed up and we make like 10 tokens 15 tokens 20 tokens it is just an absurd game-ending bomb, especially in conjunction with Pride of Conquerors. Pride of Conquerors is a card that I almost feel like we want more of. I'm not really sure how exactly to make it fit, but a lot of our wins came from going March of Multitudes, untapped Pride of Conquerors, and just killing our opponent, often from a really high life total. So I think that's something to consider.
consider. The other card that I'd really like to make work, and remember, this is one of our instant deck tech decks, so I didn't build this one from scratch. It's a Todd Stevens deck. But one card that I'm definitely interested in trying, and I'm not sure where to fit this one either, is Huatli Radiant Champion. Huatli is just so good in the token deck. Even if it can't fit in the main deck, it might be better than like Vivian Reed or something in the sideboard because it offers a lot of potential in those slower matchups where you can l ball lightning in a life linking token to gain tons of life, draw tons of cards. So there is a lot of opportunities for Huatli to maybe work here as well. So I feel like the deck is solid as is. If you're looking for something to just play right away in Guilds of Ravnica standard, you could do much, much worse than Selesnya tokens because we just kind of cruise to a 5-0 with it and it felt pretty good in most of the matchups along the way but i think there's still some things we could do to maybe even make it better so i'm still excited to brew with it as well but overall it was awesome 5 0 open great treasure chest had a lot of fun along the way so a super sweet deck and a super sweet bunch of matches so anyway i hope you enjoyed selesnia tokens as much as i did because it was a super fun deck thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.